Jesus died for your sins. This is what they tell children. Jesus died for your sins. The child goes into the church and there in many churches or even symbolically at the heart of it they have a man nailed to a cross. A man nailed to a cross. A child sees a man nailed to a cross. Later on they say it's not really a man, it's God. But the child sees a man. I can see a man nailed to a cross. They say that Jesus died, that this man died for my sins. That this man died in my place. If I don't believe he died in my place, then I will die in this way. They will nail me to a cross. If I don't believe, I don't believe. I don't believe in any God who has sacrificed his own son. I don't believe in any God who, who wants, you know, payment for sin, a sacrifice, a blood. This is Satanism. It's not. It's not a religion. It's Satanism. Blood sacrifices, human sacrifices, and they ch tell the child, Jesus died for your sins. How is the child's mind meant to process this? The child will imagine very vividly what it's like to be nailed to a cross. Very, very vividly. Children's minds are very vulnerable. Why do we permit this organization, this so-called religion, to use these horrific Im images with the intention and mentally abusing and crippling our children and tormenting them that Jesus died for your sins. What sins? What sins? All I can see is the sins of the church. By their fruits ye shall be known. Get your hands off our children's hearts and minds.